Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, so what does that mean, Mac? It's open car! I know, it's time to open cars. So this one is from uh, Michael Holler uh, up there in Ohio. This was an eBay purchase. Um, and you guys you know me, anytime I find a seller that's got good models yeah. and I can save on some shipping, I will get as many of them as I can. So what's the first one, Mac? It's a bus. It's a bus? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. What color bus? It's blue. It's blue. You, let's hold it up. Let's look at that one. That is a British Airways bus. Look at that. So this is a Matchbox Lesney BEA coach. Nine. That's the uh, number There's 58. No one in here. And uh, that's a really nice, nice copy of that one. I don't think these were. Uh, I don't think these were blue originally. Looks like there's little hints of red poking through some of those uh, windows in there. I wonder if this was a red bus that was overpainted to blue. Or maybe vice versa. Maybe it was blue and somebody's tried to paint it red at some point. Look. To see what's going on Look, there. Daddy. Next one. What's that? Mac, what is that? That's your car. That's a car. What kind of car? It's blue. No, that's green. 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 That's a uh, Matchbox Series number 55 or 73 Mercury. So this was uh, this is the steering base, um, and this one appears like it might be a little locked up, but no they one. used it for no one bus. multiple models. Um, and this is just uh, one that I didn't have in the collection yet. I love it because it's got There's the little no dogs one. in the back. What's next, Mac? It's another bus. So this is really early Matchbox Le uh, Lesney. Um, you can see the metal wheels. Uh, axles need a little cleaning up on this one. They're, um, those wheels are totally rusted onto the axle. Um, and I have to be really I careful when I try to do any restoration work on these because um, that old Zamac, even just in some white vinegar, can actually dissolve those wheels. So I have to see. I might just keep this just exactly how it is. Can I put it down? So what's what's that one, Mac? That's a truck. It is a truck. So this is um, a Coke truck, and I've purchased a couple of these lately. Uh, the number thirty-seven Carrier Bantam. Um, but again, this is another early model. Um, normally, I would not have probably bid on this because I've got quite a few of them. But again, when I had the whole group of these all from the same seller and it didn't cost me anything but just what the auction was, if I can get these for four or five bucks and the shipping's already covered with everything else that I've already wanted, um, then you know I end up with a couple extras in there. This one's not in bad shape. Um, this has the more orange yellow paint on it um, Decals are in pretty good shape. This back one's a little rough, but the ones on the top are really nice um, So I'll have to look at that and see Which uh, variations that fits in if this is one I got or or this is a total duplicate and then last but not least um, This one I'm really excited about because I don't have one of these in my collection yet. This is the first one I've got what? You can play with it when we're done talking about it, okay? So this is the uh, number 73 10-ton pressure refueler. Um, paint is not great on this one. You can see it's pretty rashed on the top. Um, this one might be one that I try to do a restoration on. Uh, we will we'll see. Since this is the only one I've got right now, it's going to go into the collection just how it is. Um, and then if I get another one that's better in the future, maybe I'll come back and restore this one. Because this should have a really nice uh, red, white, and blue bullseye decal up there on the top um, that's missing. So we'll see. But those are all from the same seller. Um, so that was a stacked buy so that I could... 
combined shipping on all of those. This one. Up next. This one. Who's this from, Mac? It is from Dwayne Keys up uh, Thompsonville, Kentucky. What do we get from him? Car. A car. Uh. What kind of car? What is that, Mac? A scrap. It's a car. It's a car. It is a car. Which number is it? Um, one, two, three. That is a number 53. That's a Zodiac. So I just, uh, a couple weeks ago, posted the restoration video on the earlier models uh, for Zodiacs. Um, and when I was going through doing my research, I realized that uh, Matchbox actually had a couple different models of the Ford Zodiac, um, and this is one that I didn't have. And this one came up in my search. Um, still had the nice shiny chrome on the, the engine bay there. Still has the uh, spare tire um, inside, and was in pretty decent shape. And so I decided I'd pick that up so I'd have all the models of the Ford Zodiac. Open this. Who's this from? I know, you're excited. Yeah. Okay, this is from Bruce Johnson, Carson City, Nevada. And it is really well wrapped. So this looks like it's a really small one probably means it's really old. Yes, this is really old. So, um, this is actually kind of curious to me. This is not a Matchbox Lesney. Um, you can see the casting's a little bit different on the bottom. Um, so I'm actually, I'm looking for help from my viewers to help me identify what this is. Um, I've got a, uh, a upcoming video that I'm gonna go through all four of the original uh, Matchbox copies of the uh, dumper. Um, and then I've got uh, a couple different knockoffs. So this is the newest knockoff for this one. Um, as you can see, there's nothing on the base. Um, the wheels are plastic. They seem to be textured on the front and smooth on the back. Um, it's more of kind of an orangey red color on the bucket, green on the body. And uh, this one does not have a driver. It's just got a chair where a driver would be. Um, no uh, no steering wheel, no other details, anything like that on it. Um, but I'm curious as to if anyone can help me figure out what it is. Um, it has steel axles, uh, domed on one side, crimped on the other. So if you think you know what it is um, or can help me figure it out, put it down in the comments. Two cars. There's two cars. Two cars. Up next, this is from Henry... Gendis, I think, Gendis, Gendis, of Morganville, New Jersey. What do we got, Matt? Cars. Two more cars. So, one of these I am super, super excited about. This one here. Um, I've got a couple it's of these monkey. models. It's a rock one. It is. Um, this tanker, uh, Xbox Lesney tanker. This one. And it says number 30, but I don't think that it, that is the number on this. I'll have to look it up. I have this model in the more common red with the SO decals on it. Um, and I've never had a yellow one in my collection. So not at least not one that was yellow originally like this one is. Um, again, this has the much, much smaller wheels um, similar to this model. Um, and I think I've said this in a couple of my mailbags that 
I'm really trying to fill out some of the older parts of my collection. Um, and finding these tends to be a lot more difficult and these are usually quite a bit more expensive. Um, so I kind of space it out this? when I can find them. Can I open this? Next. And this one, um, this is another Matchbox series. This is an uh, ambulance. Um, I doubt that I was lucky enough to find, let's see, yep, no stretcher in there. Um, I am looking for the stretcher that goes in here. Um, I've only been able to find one of them that came up on eBay. Um, and it seems to be something that a lot of the reproduction companies and the parts suppliers don't carry right now. Um, so this is the uh, number three Mercedes-Benz ambulance. Um, I've got a couple of these and I've, I, eventually I'm going to do some ambulance restorations and I'll go through okay. all the different variants in the collection that I've got right now. Um, but again, this was this was the one I was after. This was another auction from the same seller um, that you know got a really, really good deal on this one, decent price, and the shipping was the same whether it was one or two. So I went ahead and picked this one up as well. All right, this is a big box here. in there. Is that everything? Let's get all of our peanuts cleaned up. Okay, so this is a big one. This is a king size. And I think I know what this is. So I've mentioned a couple times that I've been looking for some other sources um, for different models and different things that or places other than eBay where I could buy. And um, this came through one of the uh, Facebook auction groups. Um, I'd actually, I've been following a couple of these um, as I try to kind of fill out the rest of my king size collection. And uh, I, I didn't have one of these. Um, and I found one on a Facebook uh, listing, a marketplace listing. Um, and the sellers just never got back to me. I sent several messages, inquiries about, you know, can I get it, can I get it shipped? Um, and I think the purchase price on that was 25. Can yeah, it, I, opens, it opens. I think it was $25. Can I um, that? And every time I've seen these come up on eBay, uh, they tend to be more in the 45 to $60 range, uh, depending on their condition. And uh, so this one came up uh, on one of the weekend auctions and uh, I was able to pick it up for about $10. Um, so sometimes just being patient and really watching um, when they come up. This one is missing the horses and I think I actually have uh, a set of horses that might go with this one. When I bought them originally, I thought they were for the smaller horse box model and uh, when I got them, I was standing these huge horses up next to my little um, horse box and thinking these are not the right horses for this. Um, so I'm guessing that the two horses that I, I bought uh, to go with my smaller horse box are probably actually for this model. Um, and they are black. I know a lot of the animals for these are white. Um, so I may uh, shoot, when I get around to doing my king size series, um, I may shoot this one and uh, see if I can get any help uh, from you guys to identify if I've got the right horses to go with this. But um, this one looks to be in pretty decent shape. It's got both of the, the doors with it. Um, it's play worn and uh, there's a little crack in the window on the top here. Um, this is actually a fairly common um, problem with some of these older models are these cracked windows. And I want to try something. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. Never done it before, but you know the little kits that they sell for uh, fixing chips on your windshield? Um, the reason you see this crack, it's actually the, the gap, it's the air that's in there. And so I want to try one of those windshield repair kits and see if I can inject that crack with uh, some resin and see if I can get that to harden and make that disappear and then we'll come back and buff it off. Um, so like I said, I have no idea if it's gonna work, but 
Um, I've been wanting to try it for a while and this might be a really good model to give that a go on. So excited to get that one. And then up last, this is a box from uh, Mike Snyder, I think. Um, this was an eBay purchase and I am really, really excited about this one. Um, this has been a long hunt for me. Um, for those of you that follow any of the auctions, um, this is a pretty hard to find piece. And uh, I came across the box for it. Um, that's gonna be one of my prior mailbag videos. Um, and every time one of these has come up, it's been in that like 60, 80, $100 range. Um, and I didn't pay anywhere near that for this model. Um, and I, I believe it was less than $20, maybe 25 with shipping. Um, but still has beautiful original decals all the way around. The uh, York Freightmaster uh, International Transport. Um, it's not in mint condition, but I would I would say it's in very good to excellent condition. A few little light scratches on the top there, um, but this uh, was something that I've been searching for because I got the original box. So um, for me, that's one of the most fun parts of collecting is kind of putting back pieces that belong together. So um, this model has not had its box for probably several decades and I've got an empty box that this is gonna go great with. So i um, really, really excited to find this one and get it at a decent price. Um, you know, this piece, the trailer and the original box, you know, I probably paid in the 40 to $50 range for it. And uh, now with them reunited back together, cleaned up and the box repaired, um, this is, you know, easily a, a hundred, $120 um, model in my collection. So super excited to find that, get that finally to complete um, that box restoration and uh, watch for that in an upcoming video as well. So thanks so much for joining us this week. I know this was a little bit longer video, but um, I didn't remember that some of these boxes had five, six models in them. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give us a like on this video. As always, don't forget to uh, comment or click that subscribe button so you can keep up with us on our future restorations and uh, mail calls. And uh, we will see you next week for another vintage diecast restoration.